Hello friends, from this video I am going to start a series of videos on division of decimals. Now division of decimals can be a little bit tricky and uh, students at class 7th level they start uh, with this uh, division process and uh, they learn how to divide decimals and uh, often make so many errors while computing the uh, quotient. Now uh, for understanding this uh, method we need to first have the basic understanding of the decimals and how the decimal place moves when it is to be multiplied by round figures or the base quantities. So I am going to take up the first part of this series of videos in which I will be dealing with the basics like multiple, uh, division uh, of uh, decimal numbers by the base quantities and then division by perfect whole numbers. So I am not taking both decimals right now. Dividend and the divisor both are not decimal in this part. In subsequent parts I shall take up those complicated examples also. So let's see how this process can be carried out very easily. Now to understand this division by 10, 100, 1000 and so on, we just need to understand that on division by base quantities, the decimal moves towards left and how many places towards left? The number of zeros in the base quantity will tell us how much the decimal place will move towards the left. So if there is only a single zero here, so we need to shift this decimal from here to one place towards the left. So decimal plate will move between 3 and 7 thereby giving us 3.743 as the answer. So a very easy concept and we can practice uh, this using 7 or 8 examples then we can get on with this division by whole numbers. After this we have one more example of division by 10. Now decimal is here so we need to put it here now. So it will move between 5 and 6 so this will become 15.67. Similarly. Uh, you can take division by 100. Now we have two zeros. So the decimal place will move two digits towards the left that is between 3 and 7. So 1, 2 and decimal. So this will be 43.758. Likewise again division by 100. Now what happens here? Now we need to be careful here. Why? Because we have only one decimal, uh, uh, one place, uh, one digit after, uh, uh, before the decimal and two digits after the decimal. So we have to move the decimal two places towards the left because we have two zeros here. So since we do not have any digit before 7, so what we do is we will put a zero here, it doesn't make any difference and now we will shift the decimal two digits towards the left thereby giving us 0 0.0785 as the answer or you can write zero also in front of this, it will also not make any difference. Now to understand this in a better way. You can just see here, this is uh, 1000 here, so 3 decimal places towards the left. We have only one digit before the decimal, so we need to put 2 more zeros to make it 3 digits. So now this decimal will move here 3 digits towards the left, thereby giving us point the double zero five seven two as the quotient. And you can put a 0 before the decimal, it won't make any difference. Likewise, division by 10 here, so here one digit, so one digit towards the left means it will move here. So we will have two, two zeros after the decimal. So this is 0 0.0058 and we can put a zero always when there is no digit in front of this decimal. Now we have three zeros here and when we have three zeros, the decimal has to move three places towards the left but we have only one digit here. So we put two zeros and then move it three decimal places towards the left thereby giving us 0 0.00375 as the quotient and since there is no digit before decimal so we can put a 0. Likewise here we have two digits so we can put uh, the decimal here thereby giving us 0 0.43628 as the quotient and you can put a 0 again. So this is very simple and we have to be aware of these things to solve higher problems of decimal division. So let's see now how we can apply this to divide numbers, decimal numbers by whole numbers. Now this is very interesting and crucial for subsequent parts of this series of videos. See 93.45 is to be divided by 15. Now for carrying out this division we need to understand that this and the traditional division is not different. 
when the divisor is a perfect whole number then traditional division is most easiest now don't uh, uh, think about decimal just write it as it is as the dividend 93.45 and start dividing it by 15 but you need to consider the number before the decimal here now 15 6 times is 90 and when you subtract you have 3 and now whenever you bring down the digit which is after the decimal then the answer will have that decimal uh, at that place so i am bringing 4 down now because i cannot carry on with the division if i don't bring 4 down so 4 comes after the decimal so that decimal will come here and 4 will come down and now we can get on with the traditional method 15 to the 34 and now bring 5 down so we have 45 so 15 uh, 3s are 45 thereby giving us the answer 6.23 so this is just uh, traditional division only and uh, understanding of uh, you know the, how we can bring the decimal and when uh, the decimal is to be bought down uh, bought in the quotient that is crucial here so 0 0.6204 divided by 5 again we can do that 0.6204 or you can write 0 0.6204 divided by 5 now see 0 will not solve my purpose so I will have to bring this 6 consider this 6 so my answer will also start with 0 point and now 6, 5 1s are 5 so I will put 1 here and now the traditional division will carry on this 1 2 comes down so y 2s are 10 and so on likewise you can carry on and on with the division process which everybody knows now so this is uh, 2 and uh, 0 comes down so we have 4 here and uh, 20 and then we have 0 so we will bring 4 down but this is not divisible so we will put a uh, 0 again and you can carry on with the process like this so this will be very very easy for you all I uh, will solve this one for you this is 0 0.12408 so this is the answer of this question Likewise, if you divide 163.44 by 24, so you can start with the process again, 24, 6 times, uh, it will go 6 times, so 144, okay, and uh, this is uh, 19, so this is not divisible, so I need to bring this 4 down, but this comes after the decimal, so I will put decimal here, so 24, okay, this is 5 times, 6 times, 7 times, 7 for the 28, so 168 and further 24 okay 192 so 8 times 192 so we have 2 and 4 comes down to give us the final answer 6.81 so traditional division is helping me here and there is no fuss so the first video is just uh, you know to make you understand about the process of decimal division now let's consider this example see 164.6 to be divided by 200 now instead of dividing by 200 we just cancel out these two zeros and shift the decimal two digits towards the left so that's what i told you here whenever we have base quantities we shift the decimal towards the left so this question is actually 1.646 divided by 2 and now division by 2 1 doesn't go so I'll, my answer will start with 0. Point so this becomes 16, so 2 8 is the 16, 2 is the 4 and 3 is the 6, so 0 0.823 is the answer of this question. So friends, all these questions help you in understanding decimal division easily and I will take one or two more examples then we can conclude with the part 1 and get on with the next part in which I will take some complicated examples. So let's see here, suppose I need to divide Okay, I'll take an easy example for you so that uh, you can understand it in a better way. So, suppose you have 1, 7, uh, 3, 4 and 6. So, I have a decimal here to be divided by say 300. Now, see two zeros. So, I cancel two zeros and shift the decimal two digits towards the left. So, this question becomes 1.7346 divided by 3. Now, 
one does not uh, go with the three in the table of three. So uh, my answer will start with zero point. So this becomes seventeen now. So three fives are fifteen. Two remains. So I have twenty three. So three sevens are twenty one. So again two remains. So twenty four. Three eights are twenty four and three twos are six. So zero point five seven eight two is the final product or uh, the quotient. And the final question. Let's take uh, a easy example now. One seven and three. Here we have four and seven, and uh, we have a decimal here, and we need to divide it by hundred and ten. So one zero cancelled. Decimal shifts here. So this becomes one forty seven point seven three divided by eleven. So eleven goes one times. So we have three remaining thirty seven. So eleven three is a thirty seven. 33 and 4 remaining now so now i have a decimal 47 11 fours are 44 and uh, finally we have 3 so 33 11 goes three times thereby giving me 13.43 as the answer for this question so friends if you learn this see the number of steps i was doing here and number of step, steps i am doing now they are far less so all students who are beginning to understand this division process it's very important video for you all you need to understand this in a better way so that you can get on with higher examples so wait for more videos on decimal division till then if you like this video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel